Artois were looking to build on a dramatic victory last time out, but faced a tough challenge as they hosted a Marseille side with plenty of momentum. Estac finally managed their first league win since September as they edged a five-goal thriller away at Strasbourg and moved away from danger up to 13th in the process. OM, though, had managed more than one win in recent weeks, one of four consecutive victories, having seen them bounce back from their disappointing spell in October and reclaim a spot on the provisional podium. Match underway. Toi's new manager, Patrick Kisnorbo, has had a stronger start to life in the Toi dugout. But his side would fall behind here after just 10 minutes. Corner from the right, taken short, lifted in, flicked on, and headed home by Chancel Mbemba. Tudor happy on the sidelines, though he didn't exactly show it. Two goals now in Liga Uber Eats to go with his two in the Champions League, Mbemba, since his summer move from Porto. Ghosting in at the back post, finding the gap between Mateus Liss and his near post. It's a largely one-sided opening half. Estac did occasionally find their way forward, attempting to level the match up against the run of play. On this occasion, though, top scorer Mama Valde unable to make it eight for the season, beaten to the ball by the defender. Tudor watching on from the sidelines. Side now showing the same kind of form they did in his first few games after taking over in the summer. They nearly doubled their lead soon after. It's a nice build up play and a great shot, but at least on hand to thwart Valentin Rongier's goal bound effort. A superb fingertip save. Full stretch to his right to tip it around the post. Toi had won just one of their previous 14 games against Marseille in the top flight on home soil back in October 2012. It looked unlikely to make that 2-15 and 15 as things stood at the break. Heading into the second half, indeed just a matter of seconds, the visitors would get a second. There's Norbo be happy with what he was about to see. He said Kabore racing down the right wing. Great understanding with Jenga Zunda. And then a nice back heel to release Zunda. A shimmy or two and a ball in. It was turned in by Jordan Veretu. Lovely work by the Turkey international. And then picking out the perfect pass as Veretu ghosted in undetected at the back stick. Just like Mbemba in the first half. Faced with a two goal deficit going into the final half hour, Twa desperately searched for a route back into the contest, but it was the visitors who came closest to extending their advantage. This time through Seyad Kolasinac. The Bosnian unable to make it two goals in four games after being released into the box. Head in hands. Great opportunity. Hosts did conjure up one final half chance, trying their best to utilise some space in the OM half. The initial move snuffed out, but winning it back. And Ronnie Lopez, the man to eventually get the shot away, whistling past the post of Paul Lopez. There were to be no further goals as Marseille eased to an ultimately comfortable 2 0 win. With results going their way in a busy day of action, Les Olympiens' triumph sees them open up a five-point gap over fourth place Rennes and a move to within two of Lens.